Welcome back 7days.i fans, this is Zip, and today I want to start a series of videos on how to make Generation 3 uh, creatures for 7 Days to Die. Um, we call it Generation 3. The first generation was uh, used legacy animation. It was pretty primitive tech, uh, technology, and it required special code to run. Generation 2 also required special code to run, uh, but uh, it had smoother animations and it used it, the generic uh, type of animation. Generation 3 is a step up. It's basically fully compatible with the way uh, the Fun Pimps make characters. Uh, there are some differences, but it's uh, mostly the same. And it will work in vanilla, uh, CAC compatible, uh, doesn't require any custom code, and pretty much the characters will do everything that the game wants to. So I want to show you how to make that. First things is we need to get you started off with the right um, project file. And so what I have on the screen here is the things you're going to need to be able to do the series of tutorials. So let's cover that really quickly. First of all, there's a link in here which invites you to join a, um, Guppy's Discord where most of the power modders hang out and they'll be willing to answer your questions as will I. Uh, and so that is your invitation to get you into that form. Uh, what you will need to be able to learn uh, use this tutorial will be a copy of Unity 2019.1. I use 2019.1.14. Uh, it's available on the Unity site. And um, that is the current build that is used to make the A18 version of the game. Uh, in future versions, uh, they will increase the Unity um, release version. We expect the next release to be 2019.2 or 19.3. Um, you can find out the version of the game by loading up the, like loading up A18 and look in the player.log file and at the very top it'll show you the build um, that they're using for that version. Um, you also need the Unity uh, FBX exporter package. I've pre-installed that, um, but basically um, you go up into Windows and then click on Package Manager and you will see FBX exporter right here. It is a preview too. Uh, version 3.01 and check means is current. If you see this little symbol here, the little down arrow, that will show you that there's an update available. Okay, so once you uh, have Unity um, loaded up, and I'll show you how to do, uh, I'm not going to show you how to load Unity, but I'll show you how to load the project. Um, you have the exporter in there. There's a script called multi-platform export script. That's what you use to get things out of Unity uh, and get it ready to enter into the game. There's a copy of that already included here. Um, if uh, you're starting your own project, you have to just basically just drag that script into this full, uh, the basic asset folder, and you're good to go. Uh, the next thing that you will need is the uh, Fun Pimps Tag Manager. Tag Manager. If I go up here and uh, get this out of the way here, and I click on somebody like this guy here, and I come over here to Tags, you'll see. A list of tags here. The, you will not have those tags in the, in the basic default Unity load. You have to copy a file into your project. I've done that for you. So uh, it's just uh, if you don't see these tags in, in uh, this order, you're going to have problems going forward. So that's covered. Um, next we have um, Notepad++. We're going to be doing some editing of some um, uh, meta metadata files. So uh, that's a really good editor. It doesn't screw things up. Be careful of using like WordPad or anything like that. I recommend that highly, but there's other good editors out there as well. Finally, a Mixamo account. Um, there's the link to get there. It's a free account. It'll allow you to um, you pr use their software that online will uh, rig and animate characters for you. So that's a really good place to have, um, uh, have an account there. Optional applications, Utiny Ripper uh, is a, the tool that you can actually extract objects out of the game itself. Uh, I had to do that to get the um, um, original um, nurse that I used as a template uh, out of the game and then uh, reassemble it like Frankenstein. But if you want to uh, take the same journey I did, that's the tool you use. Uh, included in this package is a the zombie nurse, uh, standard nurse ragdoll. I pre-installed that. It's basically the character that I use to try to figure out um, how to put together a compatible entity. Uh, it is included right here. Uh, this is the nurse here, basically. Looks might look very familiar to you, but as you can see, uh, there's a lot behind the scenes, and I will cover that in the next video. 
I also included a couple of uh, other characters that we can use to uh, go through the tutorial. A zombie female character, which came from Sketchfab, which is a, um, uh, you know, uh, a zombie of, of, I've never tried it. It may not work. It may have a bad rig or something like that, but we'll go ahead. Uh, actually, that one doesn't have a rig. We'll have to go ahead and rig that one. And then there's a zombie here, uh, shirtless zombie, which is uh, from a high quality Unity developer and uh, hopefully uh, that one will work as well. I believe that one's already uh, pre-rigged. Uh, we'll check that out in a bit. Last thing I want to mention is five keystrokes. One thing I have a problem with is uh, applications is learning hundreds of keystrokes to get anything done. And yes, I'm looking at you, Blender. Uh, but in Unity, you really need to know five. Uh, control D will duplicate something for you. You select it, hit Control D, and you get you get another copy. That's very useful for extracting. Um, animations out of .fpx packages uh, so you can have direct access to it. Uh, control C uh, is simply copies things so if I would go up into this here and you'll be doing a lot of copying children here and putting and then pasting them down onto new entities that way all the tags are done for you and, and the location is right uh, saves you a lot of work by using that. Control V will be how you then paste that into the new entity Control Z undoes the last screw up that you did. You keep pressing Control Z and it'll back you way out. Um, generally, works. it works really well for the first thing, but then um, I've, I've had it get to weirdness, um, you know, when I go into dozens of things. So uh, Control Z and, and uh, you use that wisely. Control Y is essentially the, oops, I didn't mean to Control Z, redo my last thing. So those are important keystrokes. This file is included here uh, in README first. Uh, so when you open the project, uh, you don't have to go back to the video to reference it. It's all right here. So I'm going to close that up. Uh, first uh, thing um, that we got to cover here outside of this is how did I get here? This is a project file that I'm going to provide to you that you will load into Unity. Pretty simple to, to do that load. I'm going to make that file available on Google Drive. I um, haven't posted the link yet, um, but that will be in, uh, I'm about to say, uh, there'll be a forum post about this tutorial. You'll find the link there. Basically, what you have to do when you load a Unity, hopefully you loaded Unity Hub first. Unity Hub allows you to have many different versions of Unity. You can see here I have 20, um, version 2018.2, 2019.1. I used to have uh, version 5 of Unity for back in A16, uh, but you can have multiple versions of Unity all organized in the hub, so I recommend you download the hub and then download the, cop the version of 2019.1.14 and load that in. Once you have that load up, you want to load the project. How do you do that? Click on the ag Add button, find the tutorial project, and here it'll look like this up on web. Just click on that and s select it and it went ahead and see added that project right here. So that's the 2019 tutorial project and when you click on that it's going to start Unity and now it will run a new instance of um, the tutorial project. Now you notice you didn't see the last one that I currently have open because it's open. This is going to be essentially a clone of that. And there it is. Uh, I think I've just referenced a different here we go. Click on the nurse and I show her up there she be. And you can make your windows anywhere you want, but essentially it's the same thing that you were looking before. So I'm going to close that up. I'm not going to save that. So we're back here again. So now if you did that and you opened it like I did, you'd be essentially right here with all of this. And that is how we load um, the beginning project. We're ready to start doing something with this project. And I will cover that in the next video. Okay, guys, um, I will see you then. Thanks.